two muscles on the radial side of your forearm which lift the wrist and they have again names that describe what they do. They are the extensor carpi radialis longus which is the long muscle which extends the radial side of the wrist and the extensor carpi radialis brevis which is the short extensor of the radial side of the wrist. So when these muscles contract and they almost always contract together, here they do, they contract, they will have two functions. The first is that they will lift the back of your hand up, so dorsiflex the wrist. And the second is because they're on this side, they will deviate your wrist towards your thumb side. The major function is to contract together with the extensor carpi ulnaris on the other side of the forearm and lift your hand up to be in proper position of function so that you can actually grasp. So just the same as this muscle, these three muscles together hold the hand up so that you can grasp and therefore even though they're extensor muscles, the time that you feel your pain is when you are trying to grip. So when you, the, the classic is that when you go to lift up a cup full of tea or try and pour say some tea from a teapot, that is when you will feel, turn on these triggers and feel the pain at its most. The last little factor is that the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the short extensor, the tendon runs right over the head of the radius and this is the tendon that becomes damaged in a tennis elbow or lateral epicondylosis. A very specific and anatomical fact. And therefore people who present with tennis elbow, which is a very, very common problem, in other words, pain over the lateral epicondyle or the, or the outside of your, of your elbow, people who present with, with that pain will have usually two sets of problems. The first is that they will have damage to the tendon of the extensor carpi radialis brevis as the tendon joins into the lap lateral epicondyle and the second is that they will have trigger points in both of these muscles and as we see the trigger points from these muscles often refer up to this area. The trigger point in extensor carpi radialis longus occurs really close to the insertion of the muscle into the lateral epicondyle and this is very commonly uh, this this trigger point will cause pain right where the tendon inserts in other words over the tennis elbow point it also refers pain down into the dorsum of the wrist the back of your wrist but on the radial side and you can see this pattern there is a vague feeling in between so again, if somebody presents with pain over the back of their hand and the doctor just examines this area and finds no tenderness, often they're reassured that there's nothing wrong, they may do x-rays and so on, and miss the fact that in fact the primary cause of it is a trigger point way up near the elbow joint. The extensor carpi radialis brevis trigger point occurs lower down the arm and it refers downwards to give pain over the dorsum of the hand, in the middle of the dorsum of the hand. These triggers are often active in people who have so-called RSI or OOS which is related to use, uh, prolonged typing or keyboard, keyboard use. So even though they feel, people feel pain in their 
wrist and in their hand, the primary cause of this problem is trigger points in the extensors of the wrist, other words, is extensor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis.